In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the Outfy Automate Social Media Shopify app. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead onto the Shopify app store, search it up and install it onto our store with this install button. Now, once you press this, it should open up a new tab and you can go ahead and click install here. And after a few seconds, it should be installed on your store. So the next step here is once you have installed it onto your store, you're gonna to have to go ahead and connect up your platform. So just to note, TikTok and YouTube are only available on the pro plan and higher, and Twitter is only available with the ultimate plan and higher. So other than that, click on the platform you want to connect. So I'm gonna click on Instagram, and it's gonna go ahead and open up this tab here or something very similar, and you'll be able to go ahead and connect it. Once we've gone ahead and connected up our, our uh, network, we can go ahead and pick a board and pick a section. And then we go to the bottom and click start using Outfy. Now it's gonna ask you for the different payment plans that you want to do. You can select monthly and depending on what you want to do, select the one that you like. So I'm just gonna click on this. I'm gonna click the click here to get a seven, free, a seven day free trial. I'm gonna confirm that. And it's gonna open up Shopify now and ask you to confirm that inside of Shopify. And I'm gonna click approve and that should go ahead and set up my payments. Now, once you get into the app itself, it's gonna give you this pop-up here. And it said, we've gone ahead and created your very first smart queue. Now, a smart queue is a way to automate creation and sharing of posts. We can go ahead and just press start posting now. And this is gonna bring up the full app. So the first thing you're gonna see here is the dashboard. We can go onto the dashboard and it's gonna just tell you some information here. You've got what's new, you've got automations, you've got what's next, next upcoming posts, recent posts, alerts, and networks. And inside here, you can actually connect different networks. So if we go ahead and go over to the manage automation tab here, this is where we can um, automate posting stuff. So we can click create new smart queue and first of all, we're gonna type in a task name, so we can just call it products or something like that. And you're gonna to to be able to use this slider to pick how many product or how many videos you want a day per network. Now, my plan doesn't allow videos, but yours might if you upgrade it. You'll be allowed GIFs and you'll be allowed images and collages. So you can pick how many you want to post per day of each. Next thing, we want to go select the days we want to be posting and we can just deselect the ones we don't want to post on. And we can select the schedule and we can pick latest products, random and latest or just random products. And we can pick the hours we want to go ahead and post from. Press save. And if we go back into it, we'll be able to edit some more information. So we can click on the caption tab and this here is gonna allow us to use AI to automatically caption the, ta uh, the post. Now they have some templates down here by default. So they've got stuff like deals, fresh arrivals, uh, offers, all that kind of stuff that you can select as a preset. Now next up, we can go to the primary tab here and we go ahead and select um, where we want the basic photos or products to come from. And we can select the video settings here uh, background music, we can pick that, the fonts, the store, and all that kind of stuff. And we can do that for all of the different um, formats. Once we're done, we can go down to network, and that will be the network such as Twitter, all of those ones. And then we've got miscellaneous, so just miscellaneous information. Once we're done with that, we can click save, and that is ready to go. Make sure we've got it turned on, and that should uh, be sending and ready. If we go back to the left hand side here, we can go to the create post section and we're able to create these posts manually. So we can cl click on products here and we can click on this product here and we can go ahead and actually create a post with this product. So we can put a title in here, be like new arrival and we can put some text down here, grab, grab this new arrival well, stocks last. And we can either schedule it or post later, or we can connect a new network, or we can create a, a video, a GIF, or a collage from this. And if we just press post now, that would go ahead and actually post it right away. I'm gonna schedule it, press okay, schedule it. 
and there we go we can see that this is now scheduled and if we go across here we can see all of the different mediums that we've got and if we go through here we can actually pick all of these different mediums so we've got shorts and this should load any second we can go ahead and post on here so we can select some images put that into a short we've got reviews then we've got the canva section here so we can actually go ahead and design within in canva with inside the app which is quite cool it means that we don't have to go back and forth we can just integrate it all in one next we've got the promo queue section so this allows us to automate promotions for different occasions so we can create a promotion for a, uh, a sale on the store and we can just click something like this and we can go ahead and change all of the details in here and when we're ready we can go ahead and click on the create promotion button now if we go back to the left hand side we're going to see the my post section we've got the planner this is where it shows the different um, dates and we can just click on this date here and we can plan to post something on that specific date next up we've got scheduled so this will tell us the schedule and then we've got activity which will show us all the different things we have scheduled in the past or things we've posted in the past next up we've got networks again this is the different networks we spoke about earlier you can connect all of these different ones here and then we've got captions so hashtags ones you might want to have hashtags on all of them and we've got templates so you can create a different template for different events and you can create new templates and this is quite good because oftentimes you'll be posting repetitive themes so this is helpful just to save time now the last thing, last thing we want to go do is we want to go up to the top right hand corner here we've got a little settings tab we can go to settings here and there's a few settings we can go ahead and change we've got a logo currency and time zone shortness is if you want to shorten links and we've got email preferences here we also have our account section and this is just where you have all your billing that kind of stuff lastly if you want to go ahead and get some support they have a button up here or you can go to the bottom right hand corner and you can speak to a member of their team if we click here and that will allow you to get support from the Outfi team so that is basically how you use it i hope the video was helpful if it was be sure to go down below and like and subscribe and also comment but if you have any other questions about how to use this or any features that I may have missed, let me know down below. And if you also want me to make a tutorial video on any other software or app, let me know and I will go ahead and do that. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.